Hello everybody and welcome to this microeconomic video on production possibility frontiers. So firstly, what are production possibility frontiers or PPFs as we sometimes know them? Well, a PPF shows the different combinations of goods an economy can produce when it's working at full efficiency. So in this case on our diagram here, our two combinations of goods are swords and shields and our axes, the numbers on our axes, shows how many of them we can produce. And if our economy is working at a point on this semicircle, on this curve, then we are working at full efficiency. So for example, if I'm working at full efficiency, then I can produce 300 swords. So if I go up and read 300 swords and then read across and read down, I can also produce 300 shields. But if I'm not working at full efficiency, then my economy will, will be working and operating at a point inside the PPF. So an example would, of this would be if I was producing 200 swords and then I read across to where these two lines cross and I read down and I'm producing 300 shields. There I am not working at full efficiency. And this is because if I were working in the most efficient way possible I'd be working on the curve. So if I read across from 200 all the way to the curve I could be producing 350 shields, but I'm not, I'm only producing 300. Now, our PPF can expand outwards, and this expansion outwards shows economic growth. And we can see this economic growth because we are now able to produce more. So for example, if I was working on the small PPF, then at full efficiency I can produce maximum 200 of either good. But now as my P PPF expands outwards and economic growth occurs I can now produce 400 maximum of either good. So therefore I have increased my output and therefore economic growth has occurred. And just as my PPF can expand outwards it can also contract inwards. And if, a, if an expansion outwards showed economic growth, then a contraction inwards shows economic decline, so I can't produce as much. So for example, if I were working on my original PPF, the big one, then the maximum amount of goods I can produce are 400. However, then my PPF contracts inwards and my economy shrinks, so now I can only produce 200 maximum of either good. So therefore economic decline has occurred. Now I would like to draw you back to the original diagram for this idea of opportunity cost. Now opportunity cost is defined as being when the benefits of one option are lost by choosing a different option. So when I choose one thing, I can't have the other thing. So therefore if I can't have that other thing, I can't get all the good bits from that other thing. So for example, if I were looking at buying an Xbox or a PlayStation, if I buy an Xbox, then I've lost the benefits that the PlayStation would have given me because I can't have the PlayStation as well. And this is what a PPF shows. Because a PPF is working at full efficiency, we have to split our total amount of resources on two different goods. So for example, in this case, when I'm producing 200 swords, I read across and then I read down, I'm producing 350 shields. But let's say I need to increase the amount of swords I have. So I increase my production of swords from 200 to 300 swords. But to do this, if I now read across and read down, I, c I have to cut my amount of shields being produced by 50 shields to 300 shields. And this is because I have to take blacksmiths away, I have to take uh, metal workers away, I have to take the buildings away from the shield producers and give them to the sword producers so that the sword producers can make more swords. And this is the idea of opportunity cost. So in order to make an extra 100 swords, 200 to 300, then I have to stop producing 50 shields. So I lose the benefit of having 50 shields. 